Hello and welcome again to Frank School, second video for today. Alright, the story goes on like this, and I've got Ger bad German and German and English here. Uh, <clears throat> it, for those just interested in punctuation, only look at the third line. I've indented, because now the storyteller takes over again. This is not the rooster speaking, this is the storyteller. Uh, and the, the storyteller says, The rooster began to mumble old MacDonald had a farm to himself, and that got his spirits up. Okay, uh, the rooster began to mumble. We have to open quotes, because this is the name of something short. It's the name of a song, or if it were a poem. Something short. Well, then you, you use uh, quotation marks. Old MacDonald had a farm. There it is. To himself. That's one clause. Rooster began. It's got a, a subject and a predicate. And <clears throat> that got his spirits up. Well, that's the second clause. We needed the comma because uh, now we, this is a compound sentence joined by a coordinating conjunction. That got, there's our, there's our subject, simple subject, there's our simple predicate. So we've got a compound sentence here. Joined by a coordinating conjunction and a comma is enough here. Uh, okay, stop, <laughs> if, if, uh, if you're only interested in punctuation. Now, if you're interested in how this is pronounced, here we go. The, the rooster, rooster began to mumble, mumble, oh, oh, mumble, Old, see there in dialect you would say old, but if you're being careful, you'll say the L, old, old, Mac, Mac, Don, old Mac, old Mac, Don, no, old, I would say probably old, had, had a farm to himself, and that got his, his spirits up, Spir spirits up. Spelling for pronunciation, let me try it again here now. The rooster began to mumble, Old MacDonald had a farm to himself, and that got his, and, and that got his spirits up. Yes, okay, that, that works. Now, let me get rid of that uh, for the sake of clarity, um, to the extent that I can make this clear. Um, and uh, and now let's look at, at, at bad German word by word. Der Han began zu murmeln. Alt, maybe it's alte. Alt MacDonald hatte eine Farm zu im im selbst. Und das, I don't know how to say got machte maybe. Maybe you could say made. Das, I just don't know, I don't think they have that word. Das machte seinen, seinen Geisten. I like that Geisten, ghosts. Uh, uh, auf. And, and uh, I'll, I'll keep saying, I'm not going to really teach German. I'm going to teach, try to teach you to love German. And, uh, and here's what I'm talking about. Uh, Geist, his, his ghosts up. Uh, all right, let's get rid of that, because that is not uh, German. That's just a collection of German words. But you, you do need to have German vocabulary if you are going to uh, speak uh, uh, German. All right, now, what would be German, I think, to the extent that I can pronounce it? Der Han begann zu sich selbst zu murmeln. Der alte... 
McDonald hatte eine Farm und das inspirierte ihn. And that inspired him. The idea of getting your spirits up, you, that, that's an idiom. You don't say that in German. The rooster began to hims, himself self to, to mur, uh, mumble. The old MacDonald had a farm, and that inspired... Uh, That gives us the past tense. Him. Okay, <clears throat> on we go. Uh, I'll see you uh, probably tomorrow, next time. Bye.